You know, there is a theory abroad that um, at some point in life, or maybe in human development, you have to face up to the horrors of life and the uh, inevitable suffering and say, this far and no further. And maybe you make the floor, you mark the floor with an X at that point where you decide to, uh, to make your stand against the wilderness and the wildness beyond, whether it's animal or human or natural in some way. You make your stand against the elemental forces that you're faced with. And where you make your stand, you might mark the floor with a cross and you might um, seek a clearing in the woods. You might have a canopy of stars above you, or a canopy of trees. And you build a structure. Maybe you put a cross atop a beam, maybe you put two sticks together. And uh, you grow your structure and you make a stand there and you maybe sow seeds amongst the people. Maybe every week then they come to congregate until it comes almost like a ritual. And maybe the walls of your structure are flimsy. And maybe the people that are with you are not many. But you have to make your stand. And you have to face the dangers and stop running at some point. This is a theory I've come across. So, after a while, people might come every week or they might join you in your stand because there is safety in numbers or maybe they see there's some wisdom in your approach and they might join you in sowing seeds and they might join you in your stand and the walls might be flimsy but as you grow uh, your structure and your community the uh, civilization you've founded might go stronger and you might get city walls and you might build all kinds of amazing technologies and buildings but there comes a point at which your community might become flabby in the mind and slack because if they if they rely on others to protect them from those dangers then they lose a sense of responsibility and contact with the threats that they face and with the, with I guess the responsibilities they have to themselves to protect themselves and to look after themselves in their lives. And then once again, you might wind up in a position where your structure and all that protects you from the wildness of other people and the dangers of life and the snakes and the reptiles beyond, all the protection might be the flimsiness a very fragile structure. We still gotta make a stand.